the all-new English Premier League season kicks off this weekend, and we're going to talk about that here on Z Code Systems Day here on YouTube as we take a look at the Z Code System Soccer Buddy tool, which will give us some educated information to make smart picks and predictions for this weekend's Premier League game. So great to be back with you guys, and we are getting ready to kick off the all-new season. Match day one starts on Friday night and continues through the weekend, wrapping up on Monday night. So it's a great four-day weekend or three-day weekend of action in the Premier League. And you know what, guys? There's going to be 10 fantastic matches for you to watch and if you're interested in betting on them. All right, so we're going to cover all 10 games for this weekend uh, here on the video, and uh, we'll just go through those and talk about them. But, of course, you can go over to the blog and you can read up there on everything that we wrote, that I wrote, about the weekend action coming up. Uh, we cover three games there pretty in-depth, but we're going to talk about all the games here on this special video here on YouTube. So before we go any further, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and share on social media so everybody knows what we're doing here at Z Code System for the Premier League season this season, 23-24. All right, guys, uh, before, though, we get on to the Premier League picks, let's look at the betting odds for the Premier League this season. And specifically, we're going to look at William Hill and the outright scoring odds. And as you can see right there in front of you, the William Hill betting uh, website has a, he uh, a great list of different markets to wager on right there. You've got uh, Harry Kane uh, to be the top scorer in the Premier League, and you've got lots of great, great bets that you can make there uh, on William Hill. Obviously, there are other sports betting sites out there. So I'm just going to go over here and click on competitions. And we've got our popular competitions, and there is the English Premier League, which kicks off, like I said before, on Friday, August the 11th, that would be. And as you can see here, we've got our head-to-head -head matches coming up this weekend. So if you fancy betting on those, but I'm specifically looking at outright markets, and we're going to look at the to win the Premier League outright. And as you can see there, with it kicking off this weekend, Manchester City are favorites to win the league at minus 138. They are the reigning champions and reigning runners-up. Arsenal are plus 450 to win the Premier League. Liverpool, who knows how good they'll be this season. Some issues and questions around the midfield and defense. They are plus 750. And then we drop off a bit from there with Man United at plus 1,000 and Chelsea at plus 1,400. Now, if I was going to go out on a limb here and say a team outside of Manchester City were going to win the Premier League, then I would have a look at either Arsenal or Chelsea. I think Arsenal could be uh, a very good team this season. We saw Arsenal win the Community Shield last weekend, defeating Manchester City on penalties. Uh, Chelsea, I think that they could do something very well, uh, excuse me, very good this season. Uh, they've uh, acquired a lot of great young talent in the last couple of transfer windows, and they've got new manager Mauricio Pochettino. A lot will be found out in that game uh, to start the season on Sunday when they play Liverpool at Stamford Bridge. And we're going to talk about that game here on the video today. Now let's go over to the Soccer Buddy app and tool and have a look at uh, the picks for this weekend and talk through them. Okay, so this is the Soccer Buddy tool, and I have it picked out here. Uh, ready to go, and all we need to do is go to Friday night because the Premier League will kick off on Friday night with a big game between newly promoted Burnley and Manchester City. So we're going to click on uh, our calendar date there, and so those games have come up for Friday night now. I just want to go through the Soccer Buddy tool, if I can do it, and scroll down to English Premier League, or England Premier League as it says. And I also want to see if there's any hot trends, which there are not any for this game. And as you can see, Man City are massive favorites to win this game at Burnley at Turf Moor in this game. Now, keep in mind, former Manchester City defender Vincent Company is now the manager at Burnley. And he has instilled a possession-based attack, much like Manchester City. So I think Burnley can do well in this game, but I do like Man City to win uh, in the end. I think this will be a, a game where the, the supporters there at Turf Moor are really behind Burnley making a lot of noise, and uh, it could rattle Man City a little bit. But in the end, with Erling Holland, with Kevin De Bruyne, I think Pep Guardiola's Man City are going to pick up a win. 2-1, I could see this game be definitely being both teams to score and over 2.5 goals with Man City picking up the win. Now, just keep in mind, Man City do tend to start the season slowly, 
and pick things up around Christmas time. So there is that if you're looking for an upset bet. Now let's move on to Saturday to talk through these games here where we will have quite a few games on Saturday and there it's all going to kick off with Arsenal hosting Nottingham Forest at the Emirates and Arsenal uh, winning last year pretty big at the Emirates against Nottingham Forest 5-0. Of course, they lost the reverse match uh, at the city ground later on the season and that was uh, part of the reason. Arsenal fell away from the title uh, in the end. Now, Arsenal are being picked by Soccer Buddy as a 1-0 winner. Now, I do like Arsenal to pick up the win here and continue that momentum from winning last weekend's Community Shield against Manchester City. But I can see more than one goal in this game. I can see over 1.5 goals in this match with Arsenal picking up the win. Now, we move on to Brighton and Luton. Luton, newly promoted from the championship, making it through the playoffs last season, defeating Coventry City on penalties. Brighton one of the, no pun intended, but brightest teams right now in the Premier League. I love what they've done in the transfer market, bringing in some experienced players and some exciting young players. And I really like Brighton to win this game. They're going to be playing at home with a home crowd behind them. And I think Luton, who haven't really done a lot in the transfer market this offseason, I think that Luton are going to have a very tough season. I could see them going right back down to the championship. And uh, I like Brighton to pick up a win in this game. Now, moving on to Newcastle hosting Aston Villa. This is, should be a close game. Newcastle, who finished fourth last season, qualifying for the Champions League for the first time in quite some time, taking on Aston Villa, who have had a very good offseason. And uh, after hiring manager Unai Emery at the, uh, during the second half, for the second half of uh, last season, they really improved. And I think this is an Aston Villa team that is going to be on the rise. I really like what they've done, and I really like Unai Emery. Now, Soccer Buddy is picking Newcastle United to win 2-1. Now, I wouldn't be surprised to see Aston Villa pick up an away victory on opening day. But keeping in mind, last year, Newcastle were solid in defense. Uh, a lot of draws they picked up uh, throughout the season. And I could actually see this being a stalemate in the end, 1-1 perhaps 2-2. Two, two. Now West Ham will be taking on Bournemouth down on the south coast in Bournemouth. West Ham, they sold their captain, their top player, Declan Rice, in the offseason. Uh, also sold striker Gianluca Scamacca to Atlanta, Atlanta in Serie A. And they'll be taking on Bournemouth, who haven't really done a lot in the transfer, in transfer market. A new manager in there as well. West Ham are still trying to piece together their their team. Uh, and funnily enough, uh, West Ham recently, uh, it was found out that they were advertising for six players that they were looking to sign. Uh, possibly signed Harry Maguire today. I don't think he'll be available for the match on uh, Saturday. Now, again, I could see this match going to a stalemate in the end. I don't really think Bournemouth have improved in the offseason. West Ham may start slowly after winning the Conference League last season. Uh, so this game could also end in a draw, uh, and I could definitely see uh, over 1.5 goals in this game. Now, Everton and Fulham. Everton, I'm thinking, are going to fight relegation once more. But taking on a Fulham team on opening day at home, uh, I can see Everton picking up a win in this game. I don't think Fulham have done enough in the offseason. There's still some questions around some of their key players from last year possibly leaving before the transfer window closes. And I can definitely see Everton picking up points at home with a win on opening day, which would be a first for some time. Uh, Sheffield United, newly promoted from the championship, taking on Crystal Palace. Uh, say what you will about Crystal Palace, but I actually like them to pick up a win or at least a point at Sheffield United in the first game of the season. Sheffield United are tipped to go back down to the championship this season. Uh, I don't think Crystal Palace will uh, fight relegation this year. I think they're going to be a solid 10th place team uh, once the year finishes. And I see Crystal Palace picking up a, an away win to start the season. Now let's have a look at Sunday's game, which is Liverpool taking on Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. And uh, we also have Tottenham and Brentford going at it. Now Liverpool and Chelsea... Uh, now, this, the score there of 3-2 to Liverpool might be a bit misleading because the last, I think, six games between these two teams finished in draws at the end of regular time, and I can see that happening again. And even though a draw isn't the result either team would really want on opening day, this is a very, very tough game for the first game of the season, and a draw would not be a bad result for either team. Uh, now, I could see this going to a 2-2 draw in the end. Uh, Liverpool 
have looked great in preseason in attack. Their defense has been vulnerable once more, just like it was last year. And it was that defense last season that caused plenty of problems for Liverpool, causing them to finish fifth in the league. Now, Chelsea completely missed out on on European football last season. Uh, They were abysmal for a lot of the year, couldn't score goals, and uh, went through a couple of managers before hiring Mauricio Pochettino this season. They've continued to spend a lot of money and trying to bring in a lot of young players and hoping that they will be able to get results. I don't know if Chelsea are going to be, they're they're kind of, uh, you know, it's anyone's guess at the moment, you know, Chelsea could either be very poor, finishing outside the top four, or they could win the Premier League. It's going to take us a little bit of time to see just what these young, expensive players can do. But I think this game will be a draw at Stamford Bridge uh, rather than a Liverpool win. Now, moving on to uh, the other game on Sunday, Tottenham is going to go to Brentford. Tottenham has done a lot in the offseason, have a new manager in Ange Postecoglou, and I, I do like some of the things that they've done. Harry Kane so far is still staying at Tottenham, even though he's being linked with a transfer to Bayern Munich. I think Tottenham will pick up the win here. Brentford have always been difficult, or not maybe not always, but uh, in the last few seasons, they've been a difficult team for Tottenham to defeat. And I think they'll definitely give Spurs a game, but I think Tottenham will have enough to overcome Brentford in the end. And I mean, I'm excited to see Poscogaloo, uh, who just hired uh, or was just hired in the off season, uh, and he, you know, he had some great results uh, with his previous clubs, Celtic, for example, in Scotland. And I think that uh, Spurs might play some exciting football this season, although I don't know if they're going to be good enough to finish in the top four. All right, guys, that's going to do it for us today. Uh, You're going to just have to go over to the Soccer Buddy tool and check out that Monday game between Manchester United and Wolverhampton Wanderers. Uh, But until then, you can check out this video again, read the blog or at the website, and please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on everything we do here on Zico's system on YouTube. Have a great weekend, guys. Good luck with your Premier League betting, and I'll see you next time here on YouTube.